Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own version of Linktree using Elementor. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Linktree, it's a site that lets you make a kind of small list of links for, for example, your Instagram bio or your Twitter bio, uh, because as you know, on Instagram, you can only have one link. Um, here's some examples here. Uh, it's good if you're like a blogger or a YouTuber or even a small business. You can see even big companies like Expedia use it to list articles. So we're going to use Elementor to make a fully customizable version of Linktree. You will have all the same options they do. Uh, plus, you can obviously customize it any way you want because it'll be in your WordPress site and it'll be on your domain and it's already included in the price. Uh, it even works with the free version of Elementor. So let's hop right in. Now here's our example Elementor site. Let's hop into the dashboard. Uh, and we're going to make a new page. Click Add New. And we'll just call this Linktree. And then we're going to hit Edit with Elementor. So you can see uh, the header here is still here. So we want to get rid of that. Your site will probably also have a footer. Uh, if you hit the little gear on the bottom left, Settings, and hit Page Layout, Elementor Canvas. Now what this will do will actually let you customize the entire page and Linktree is kind of like a, an entire page of links with like an avatar. So you're gonna wanna have the canvas layout set. So we're gonna add a section here. We'll make it full width. And we're gonna go to style and select a color for our background. Hmm. We'll do this uh, light blue here. And then we're going to head over to layout. So we're going to pick min height here and then hit um, VH and then make sure it's set to 100. You might have to refresh that value. And you can see here our section now is 100% of the view height. So if someone's on a phone, you're going to want that option on. So you see many Linktree sites have a avatar on the top. So we're going to do the similar thing here and include an image. And just include an avatar here. You can see I already have one uploaded. Uh, we're going to want rounded corners like they do on Linktree, so let's pop that in. So you can see a border radius, and we'll just make that 999. And now we have a rounded edge here. Now that we have the rounded corners, you can see that it's kind of large, so we're going to select a width here. We're going to do pixel value instead of percentage. So I think that looks uh, pretty good, 125. And then we'll preview it on mobile. Yeah, so I think that looks good. So you see our image here is like in the middle of the page, but we want it to actually align to the top. Once we add more links, it'll push it up to the top, but let's uh, just set it up so it's correct from the start. If we right click and hit edit section, you can see we're in the layout area of edit section. And in column position, you can actually pick where the column uh, fits there. So we'll do top and you can see it's on the top now. So that looks good. So then we're gonna add my name on here. We can just go over back to our elements here and pick heading. We'll drag it in here. You can write your new username or anything you'd like here. I'm just gonna use my name and we'll uh, center align it. Uh, it looks kind of large, so we'll do an H3 here, maybe H4. So you can also do the size. Um, if you've used Elementor, you're obviously familiar with all of these settings, so uh, that'll be simple. And now next up is the buttons. So that's actually the most important part about Linktree is linking out and linking to other parts of your site. So let's hop over into our elements here and you can see we have a button element and we'll just drag that over. Um, now first you're gonna wanna have your button to be justified, so then it spans the full width. Um, now let's pick our style here. I think we're gonna do a white background. We'll do text color black, do white background as the background there. I like the rounded buttons, so we'll do a 50 pixel border radius, and you can see it adds the round buttons on the side. And now if you go to the content area, you can actually add what your button goes to. So you might have a part of your site that you wanna to link to, a new blog post, um, you know, maybe a YouTube video. We're just gonna use uh, google.com as an example. In the link area, you can also type in uh, pages on your site and it'll actually autofill that URL. So let's actually make that large or medium. We'll do medium. So now you can see we have one button here and it's looking pretty similar to Linktree. But now we're gonna to wanna to add multiple buttons and have them be all the same style. So we'll right click on our asset and hit duplicate. And you can see we can just duplicate as much as we like here. So now you can see we have multiple links and the best part about this is, is you can actually edit each, t each link individually. So uh, obviously add in your own link. Um, 
But if you want one to be smaller, one to be bigger, maybe you have like a promotion on a specific thing or just promoted a specific item. Um, obviously, you could change the background color and things like that on specific ones. And then if you notice, some of them have a uh, social area at the bottom with their social links. So let's go in and go back to our elements here and do social icons. So you can see now you can add in any type of uh, icon here and any kind of social uh, platform that you're on. So if you want to add your Snapchat, then you can pick your link. Same with Twitter. And you can see it looks kind of bad. So let's change the colors a little bit. So we'll change it from official color to custom. Uh, we'll do a we'll do a black background, and now you can see you have that nice page here. Let's preview it. Now you'll notice in the desktop version it's kind of off here, and that's because we were actually editing it in mobile mode. So let's hop back over, just in case you run into this. So you can see uh, all the things are not full width, and same with the um, heading here because we've actually set it in mobile mode. So let's go to alignment here, do center, and that'll set it on everything now globally. Uh, and we'll go over to the button, make sure it's justified. And you can actually right click on something, copy, and right click and do paste style. So it'll actually copy the style to the other buttons without editing the actual link. And we can go back through and add our uh, sizing here again. And let's preview it again. And now it looks correct on desktop, tablet, and mobile. And you might want to call the, the URL of this page a link tree or something like that because users are going to see it in the social media profile and they'll pretty much know what link tree means or maybe just like the word links. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple and that's how you make a version of link tree in Elementor. And if you use a different page builder, it's actually pretty easy to make your own version of link tree in a different page builder as well. But this is just an example using Elementor and we hope it was helpful. And remember to like and subscribe if you want more WordPress tips and tutorials and check out smartwp.com for more WordPress guides.